I went to the Gucci store to purchase the Canvas Jumbo GG belt bag. I'm gonna flash a picture of it right here, but I ended up with this one instead. This is the Jumbo GG leather belt bag, and it is the bigger version of the other two. This is in black. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it, the things I love the most about it, and what I don't like about it, and whether or not I would purchase it again. So there's two versions of the leather belt bag. There's the larger one, which is this belt bag, and a small smaller one. This retails for $1,780 online or at the regular store, but I purchased this at the Waikiki Gucci store on Kalakaua. They're actually 10% less than the retail price when you purchase it in Hawaii. All right, so let's go over some of the specs about this bag. This bag is 11 inches in width, 7 inches in height from here to here. The depth is about 3.1 inches. This leather is a really nice, thick, embossed leather. You see See here it has the jumbo G's here and on the back side you see that top side and then the under surface it has a really thick black webbing material here it's a it's a fabric but it's really thick and durable I'm not worried about any kind of wear and tear let's talk about the buckle this is a metal buckle and the clasp here is plastic and at first I was kind of worried that, you know, that might break. And I'm still kind of worried about that, but I can see why it's plastic, of course, because if it was metal, this piece here wouldn't give way so that you actually can buckle the two ends together. But yeah, this part right here is metal, and this part right here is metal. The adjustment is metal. You have a little leather tab right here. If you were to adjust this to be a belt bag, this will actually keep the two pieces of webbing material together so it's not just loose. The other side here of this metal buckle is not embossed. It doesn't have the laser engraving of the Gucci. The Gucci name is right here. You can kind of feel the surface of it, but you could tell it's been engraved into the, the metal. So that's really nice. All right, that's just a nice little touch that they have there. All right, so let's go over some of the details of this bag. You can see here the leather piping that they have across the top right here is nice and thick. It is also sewn in place very nicely. You can't see any of the stitching when you try to pry it or pull it off of the leather. It's really well stitched. The zipper is really solid and it is nice and smooth. It's, it's not sticking, the zipper is really durable. The leather trim that they have around the zipper, again, if you look at it, the stitching is well placed and it's spaced very symmetrically and very even. So I really like that. Some of the other things that I look at when I purchase really expensive bags like this is I look at the corner stitching to see if there's gonna be any kind of lifting and I don't see that. If you look right here, it's really nicely stitched. The undersurface here again is finished off with this piping type detail right there, all the way around. And you can see that on the side right here. Now the places of concern when you have a bag like this is right here where the webbing material is joined to the leather right here and you see it's really well stitched. The stitching there is really durable. And if you look on the under surface right here, the stitching is also very solid. The piping is inserted within and then the two pieces of leather are sewn together. You could see that right there and it's really nice. The stitching here on the leather trim is really nice. There is a seal along the edges here. I'm not too worried about the leather fraying or anything like that. Let's look at the back side. You can see the nice embossed leather and there's the Jumbo GG logo. All right, you can kind of see that. We're gonna take a look on the inside. Now this is actually full of things, so it's a little bit on the heavy side. Let's go ahead and open it. It has one large interior pocket here and it is an ivory color cotton linen lining. And I'm gonna go ahead and take things out of it so that you can have a look on the inside. You see there. And 
this is the actual, oh, it actually has the receipt here. So this is Waikiki, Honolulu. In Hawaii, when you purchase any of these luxury items, at least at the Gucci store, it's actually 10% off. I got this for $1,605. I left this in here because I knew I was going to film it, so I just wanted to leave it in there, so now I can take it out. So this is the interior of the bag here. And you see it's quite large and again it has a very light lining it does not have any pockets on the inside however you see that that's kind of a little bit of a drawback to having a bag like this the interior is light so if you tend to have dirty hands like if you touch your face you've got a lot of makeup on your hands or if you have grease on your hands you reach for anything in here but you can actually stain the inside of this bag very easily let's take a look there it is that's the inside it is fastened to the edge there with a nice thick webbing material there's the little tag inside that's the gucci tab right there so on the outside here you have a decent sized pocket it is a magnetic closure and it's got a pretty strong magnetic closure i have stuff in here this is the interior Oop. had another pen in there and there's the interior of that front pocket this is a lighter colored material on the inside you want to be careful that you actually put things in pouches because it can tend to get really dirty things like pens which i should really put this in a case otherwise if it leaks it'll stain the inside of this bag pretty easily so as you can see this is quite roomy on the inside this actually fits a makeup case a small little makeup case like this and some other pouches that I have here. And I make sure that I keep any loose items in small little pockets like this so that when I place these items on the inside, they're kind of controlled. When I pack the main compartment, I make sure I place these things upright like this. And it's tall enough to where you can actually close the top without it bulging out. This actually will fit my iPhone 13 Pro Max. This has a wallet case on the outside and it fits in here really nicely and you can either place it vertically this way or you can you can uh, lay it flat and I still even have more room in here when I wear this it's more of a sling bag that's how I like to wear this instead of putting it around my waist I'm a pretty petite person and this is pretty wide for the front of my body but it's nice to know that I have that option if if I really wanted to wear this as a belt bag on the outside this usually will have another one of these little pouches and I put that out here because it's something that I reach for pretty frequently I also put a couple of pens on the outside here other thing that's really important when I say that you should have things in little pouches is that when this is across your body usually it'll lay like this the zipper is down here right the termination or the end of the zipper is down here and so when you open it if you're not careful and if everything is just kind of running loose inside this compartment you can run the risk of dropping things or things falling out and um, that's not good so it's that's why it's really ideal if you keep things neatly organized within these tiny little pouches the other way that you could avoid losing a whole lot of stuff is if you drape the bag across your chest this way so that the zipper is at the top here you would then have it across your chest this way versus this way right. the other thing is is it too big for my frame now I'm about five feet tall so I'm not a very large person per se I find that this lays across my chest or back very nicely I did get this in the 90 centimeter length now when you go to the store or the website you will see that there are different sizes you'll see an 80 90 and 100 and this is actually the 90 that has to do with the length of the strap here and I purchased the 90 because I knew that I was going to be wearing this across my body most of the time. I would rarely ever wear something this wide and large as a belt bag, but it's nice to know that I have that option. All right, let's talk about pros and cons. So pros to this bag is that it is leather and that is the reason why I chose it. And it's very thick, durable leather. The sales associate at the Gucci store swayed me away from the cloth 
the canvas because it's uncoated. She raised a very valid point because it is canvas, it is a cloth material, it will tend to pick up a lot of dirt. For example, if you wear makeup and, or even just lotion on your hands and you get it on the outside of the canvas, because it's not a coated canvas, it will get very dirty and it's actually quite hard to remove because it will settle within the grooves of the of the canvas. So it will always kind of have that stain right, on so it. One of the pros to this is just it is a large compartment on the inside. I mean, you can put so much inside here. It's a great everyday carry bag, but one of the cons to it, again, is the lighter colored interior. While it is a con because it can get very dirty, it's actually a pro too because I wear this when I travel and when I have stuff in there that I need to grab, I can see what I have in there because it's well contrasted by this lighter colored material. So the other pro to this black leather bag is that this is a very timeless and classic style. Though you have the Gucci logo that's very large, it's not so in your face and it's well placed. It's not too garish. Although I was going to purchase the black canvas, the uncoated canvas, I kind of like the look of the beige one. I'll show you a picture. I would have gotten that dirty in a heartbeat. This is a great travel bag or an everyday carry bag. I'm always hands-free. Everything that I need is really close to my body and it allows me to just be mobile without any worries that something is going to fall out. Would I buy this again? Absolutely, I really would. Although it does have some of the cons of having that lighter interior, it's okay. I just use the pouches and I place everything neatly within those pouches so that they're well contained in that big compartment. Do I regret not having purchased the canvas one, the uncoated canvas? Yes. And I'm still thinking about whether or not that, that would have a place in my wardrobe. I don't think that I would purchase that other one although I still think about it. But yeah, this is a good belt bag. I will be talking about the Louis Vuitton Keep All or the Bandolier bag that is a size 45. I wanna do a review on that and tell you a little bit about it and whether or not it's something that I recommend you go and purchase. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, list them down below. I hope you guys are doing great. Please be kind to each other. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.